Pixar. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos. Hello everybody. In this video I show how to nest a crown in mailbox software from DigiShape. Look at the menu on the right side. Click on new job button. Choose which milling machine to work with. Choose the production material. And click on check mark. Next step is to select the STL file. Choose the one that you are going to mill. If you want to see a detailed measurement information uh, of the crown, simply click on it and check the height, scale and also the minimum thickness required for the blank. Choose the type of the job and click on the check mark. If you want to add more jobs to this blank, click on plus option. Now I need to select the blank. Minimum thickness required shows that I need a blank with 10 mm thickness. Blue option uh, leads to window containing previous used blanks. If you need to start with a new blank, click on plus. In this window, insert the scale factor written on the blank or its box. Choose a name for the blank. The lot code is optional, click on checkbox. Ok, let's nest the crown. By left mouse click, drag the crown to desired place. Yellow arrows will be used for rotating. Be careful not to place the crown too close to the blank's edge. The software also makes it red to show it is not placed properly. With mouse right click you can rotate the blank and as I said, use yellow arrows to rotate the crown. When the placement is done, I should start defining the connectors. Choose the connectors diameter at tooth and at material. There are four different types of pins in this software based on the cut size. With left mouse click, put the pins on the crown. When done, click on check mark. If you decide to change the type of pins, simply click on it. Use first option on the left side to change the views. Ok. I have nested the crown, now I start calculation by clicking on start mill bottom and select save tool pass. After a while this window will come up. Deselect last box if you do not use brush tool in milling machine as I do and choose the strategy of milling based on axis. Click OK. This window shows what percentage of bears would be used. Click OK. Now this asks if I want to save the change on this blank. Click on yes. I wait for the calculation to be finished. Yes, click OK. The calculation is done. The crown is now ready to mill. It is also possible to simulate the result by simulate option on the right side. Wait for the window to come up. You see, I have 
milling machine here virtually with different options click on run button and adjust the simulation speed as I do here and you, che you can check what the result will be in this window and it's optional Okay. I need the project name shown here to upload the job in the milling panel. I open the milling panel, click on output a file that is with a milling symbol, click the project name. Open it and click output and click OK. Now let the milling machine do the rest. And thank you for watching Vixel YouTube channel.